This Christian movement believed that the Christian God was evil. I am of course speaking about Gnosticism. Now, Gnosticism refers to a range of different ideas that emerged around the first few centuries of Christianity. Much of what we knew about Gnosticism was actually lost. Our knowledge of it mostly came from those that criticised it. Well, at least until 1945, as that is when Gnostic texts were discovered in Egypt. Now, the creation story in these texts is what's interesting. Now, I'm basically going to be presenting a very brief summary of a summary uh, by the scholar known as David Brackey. So Gnostics believed that reality was originally just a single supreme god, so complex that our human minds wouldn't be able to comprehend it. But over time, this god started to produce other deities known as eons. It produced quite a few, and they were basically in pairs, having a male and female counterpart. Now, they all existed within this great spiritual realm. But here's where things got a little messy. One of these eons was referred to as Wisdom, or Sophia, and she decided to reproduce without a male counterpart. So she reproduced asexually. And while it worked, her offspring was this deformed, twisted creature uh, known as the Demiurge. It was deformed, twisted, and evil, right? So what did the other eons do? They cast it out. It's put in isolation away from the spiritual realm. In its isolation, it decided to create its own realm, right? So it started to create its own eons and later our reality. But it convinced its creations that it was the supreme god. There was nothing beyond him, forcing its creations to worship it. But because it's so imperfect, its creations are imperfect, which is why our world is full of suffering and pain, according to the Gnostics. And according to the Gnostics, the Demiurge is the god of the Old Testament. So the goal of the Gnostics, at least those that believed in this creation myth, was to uh, realize the reality of our existence. Of course, Christians didn't really like this whole conspiracy theory about them, uh, so that's why Gnostic texts are so rare. They were burnt, destroyed throughout history. Now, this is a very brief summary. There's a lot more to it, but perhaps I'll make more videos about it soon.